we would just have to lump you into one category or another. And if you're not completely aligned with the left, they'll just lump you in with the right. Yours is pretty easy to figure out, though, because you did not endorse Bernie Sanders. Did you? <laughs> right? Yeah. So, I mean, it, it, it should be like all of one second to figure out maybe you aren't. Uh, yeah, but that doesn't mean anything to anybody. It just It's just... We're living in the weirdest time. People just want to categorize people in a tweet. You know, they want to categorize people in 140 or 280 symbols. It's just uh, they just decide that you're this or you're that. That way they can categorize you as the enemy. Does that bother you at all? Nuance. Do you care? I mean, I wish that they didn't. But what are you going to do? You yeah. know, I mean, does it bother? I mean, yeah, if somebody miscategorizes me or miss. Uh, mislabels me I guess it would bother me a little bit but that's just on them you know it's it's not who I am it's yeah like, I, I I'm a big believer in social programs I'm a big believer in welfare I'm a big believer in, in taking care of poor people I'm a big believer in like social programs to clean up cities and we, there's there's a lot of shit that we should be doing in this country to to help people that are disenfranchised because it's not fair Anybody thinks it is fair that someone lives in a fucking crime-infested, gang-ridden inner city, and that's exactly the same as someone who grew up in the suburbs. That's crazy. Right. So that would go against what I think a lot of people would expect you to say. Yeah, but I also, you know, I'm a cage-fighting commentator. I, I, I'm a big believer in the Second Amendment. You know, there's, there's a lot of reasons why they would decide to categorize me as a, a right-wing person, but it's... It's not correct. And also, this all this ridiculous woke shit that's going on, this bizarre mind virus that's going from universities into t tech companies and and the media and just fucking infiltrating people with these rigid ideas of what you have to say and not say and what you can and not say. It's like... That none of that is liberal. None of, none of that is really, like, open-minded or progressive. It's all just a... It's a cult. It, and... So if you go against it, the only thing you could possibly be is the other. So you must be like a MAGA supporter. My my main thing with it is if I know how you're going to answer a question basically before it's asked, which I think you can do with like almost everybody involved in politics, yeah. I don't trust you. <laughs> and, right. and, and you really can't. Like yeah. on both left and right, ask any question, you know what they're going to answer it. So it's like – you're not you're not thinking independently. Yeah, there's a lot of that, right? Like if you are on the right, I have to assume you're dismissive of climate change. You know, if you're on the left, I have to assume that you want a woman to have the right to choose, period. You know, and like there's like things like that. Like you are pro abortion or you are pro this or you are pro that. And, and that what's weird now is like if you're on the left, you're pro Ukraine war. You want to send, like, your pro-military industrial complex getting funneled billions and trillions of dollars into their system to be able to create weapons to fight off Russia. And it's like, whoa, that's the left now? And really, that should have nothing to do with either side, really. No. Like, I mean, you, it how you feel about that, I don't think, should be left or right. I mean, that's a super complicated issue, to be honest. For me, at least, it's like Ukraine. Like, you don't want a country being invaded that doesn't want to be invaded. They're not Americans. But they are humans, yeah. so it's like, what do you do? Well, like, what do you do there? It's a tough situation. It's very tough, and it's also very complicated too because there's NATO, NATO's involvement and in pushing weapons closer to the border of Russia, and what, and trying to get, you know, trying to get the Ukraine to join NATO. And it's uh, like uh, Jack Ryan, the <laughs> season yeah. Jack Ryan. It's literally sort of like yeah. that plot. But yeah, no, there is no easy answer to a lot of issues, but it's just so black and white, and that. That's no good. It's none of it's good. This is a sc scary time to be alive. You know, um, uh, someone t told me the other day that uh, Nostradamus predicted that there was going to be some sort of a World War Three, 